Hi everyone, this is Mike Ondrowski. Now, I wanted to do another honorable mentions video for February 1st, 2023. Um, you see here these first two um, Motley Crue studio album, um, CDs I got from Amazon, which are Motley Crue Carnival Zones Volume 1 and Motley Crue's Decade of Decadence from 1981 to 1991. Uh, and also Motley Crue's New Tattoo. I'm also wanted to do a uh, comparison video to one specific album where um I shown you um about the spine on each CD when I show you the new a new CD or a CD I got from a shopping center on in the mall or the Amazon some so sometimes they do the packaging wire such as these three right here now I'm, I'm comparing these two two albums I got from Amazon to a new tattoo which the new tattoo um album is from um Motley Records. Well, there's some key points I wanted to show you. Even though Decade of Decadence was on the Motley Records, it still count as an electro electro records release. And for Carnival Sins Volume One, also a Motley Records version, but it doesn't say crucially cool edition because they don't cover it's not a classic album. But there's only one point. Okay. So, I want to show you one thing real fast about something that um, caught my eye on, especially on the, uh, the Crucially Crew edition of both of the albums. So, here's why. See? This is my copy of Supersonic and Demonic Relics. You can see how in this one, the Crucially Crew part of the spine of the inside part of the jewel case is faded. Well, this copy of Girls, Girls, Girls has a non-faded version of the Crucially Crew logo, which is its new packaging. But sadly, the, the original version of the Crucially Crew edition of Supersonic and Demonic Relics has both the faded um, print of the Crucially Crew cover and the, and the label to this size upside down while, yeah, both sides of the up the spine of the CD is upside down and unfortunately for this one it's not upside down it just says the spine is facing face up but for this one it has the upside down spining so if you just so you know for anybody who wants to buy CDs new and used if not um bought in the store well sometimes it's used and um unopened make sure you look at the, the spine and make sure if you want to Correct, correcting this yourselves or um, leave it how it is. I usually leave it how it is because, um, if I if I uh if I do that, then it's permanent. Like these shoe cases are so permanent. Like if you break it, yeah, you're not you're not either gonna find um a new jewel case to put in or a uh a new jewel case to put both the booklet, the disc, and the artwork. And it's newly packaging, like I did with my Madonna's Like a Prayer album with Noah Jones's um, Come Around With Me album. But don't forget, when you buy a CD that looks like this, ignore it. Because it'll be a lot harder to for these CDs, including the two CDs I got for, on Amazon, thanks to my birthday money. It usually doesn't do that. But for the Decade of Decadence album, it has a little bit of tear and wear from it. So... That would do for my honorable mentions and one of key um at points to my to my CDs when it comes to the these CDs on both front, spine, and back. And one more time, like I mentioned, if I see a C if you see a CDs like this, ignore it. It's if it's on it like that, now they're facing up or upside down, it's permanent. You can't change it. So that would do for my little honorable mentions. Thanks for watching, everyone.